Screwball Gaming back with you for more FIFA 18 career mode action. Today Rangers hosting St Johnson in the Scottish Premiership. Well a very good evening to you. It's a frosty chilly night here on the south side of Glasgow. As the teams are led out onto the field, it's a much changed Rangers lineup as the manager opts to give some of the fringe players an opportunity this evening. And you can see Rangers sitting pretty at the top of the league, one point ahead of Aberdeen. Look at that goal difference though. Vastly superior. And he'll be hoping to continue it today and add a few more goals. Here is that rotated side. Diaby joins Michel Kramer up top. Forrester, McLean, Peña and Dalcio across the midfield. James Tavernier, Bates, McCrory and Alston are the back four and Fodringham is the man between the sticks. Rangers great form over recent weeks. Here is the St Johnson lineup, Tommy Wright's team, McLean up top. As you can see Craig and Davidson in the midfield, Alston out wide on the right, Pombo on the left, Shaughnessy and Anderson at the back, former Rangers man Richard Foster at right back. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Well, let's get this one underway. It's Saints to kick us off here. That's Ibrooks under the floodlights. Rangers look to maintain their position atop of the Scottish Premiership pile. This is Dalcio, man of mystery. Wins the ball nicely there. Rangers looking to come forward. It's hoofed clear. This is Kramer. Kramer to Dalcio. Dalcio loses out immediately. Nice sliding challenge though, Rangers win it back, momentarily at least. This is McLean, two McLeans out there today, one for each side. Just coming forward through Peña. Tees it off for McLean. Getting McLean into the box. What a hit! What a goal! Excellent goal from McLean. Makes his way into the box. Lashes one into the top corner. Rangers have the breakthrough. Incredible finish, no chance at all for Manis. Kenny McLean, his first goal of the season. Some strike from the midfielder. Rangers in front, just over 10 minutes gone here at Ibrox. Home side in control. Taking a well, it's a throw in to Rangers. This is Tavernier playing out on the that's given away. Tavernier playing out in the left today. Usually, of course, a right back. We just have Lee Wallace returning from injury. Surprised not to see him this evening. That's gone behind for a corner. 
As we take a look again at that wonderful strike from Kenny McLean, he just steadied himself, dispatched a top drawer finish into the top corner. Peña with the corner, headed away, drops to Dalcio. His shot takes a deflection into the hands of the waiting Manus. Well defended there by Tavernier and just coming forward through Forrester. Chips it out to Alston. Alston's header on finds Dalcio. Dalcio muscled off the ball with ease. Now it's St Johnson on the attack. Nice play there. As you look for McLean. And his shot well held by Fodringham. This is Alston, the American. Two Alstons out there as well today. Two McLeans and two Alstons. Could be tricky. Ball forward, looking for Diaby. In the box here. Oh, a rasping shot. Not far off doubling the Rangers lead there. Just couldn't keep it down. Still just the one goal between these two sides. Half an hour gone, pretty much. Sliding challenge there from Dalcio from the back. It could be a booking. It's a yellow card for the winger. Well, not known for his defending. Not really known for his attacking either. Bit of a comedy figure at times. Dalcio. It was a good save. There's a header flashed in. Dalcio. On that yellow card here. Oh, he's beating his man nicely there though. Rangers win the throw in. Dalcio with a cross. And the header just loops over the bar there. Just couldn't keep it down. Forrester. Well, 30. Four minutes gone. This is Dalcio. Muscled off it again. It's far too lightweight at times, Dalcio. This is St. Johnson coming forward. Good headed clearance. Well, is that opening here? Good save again from Fodringham. St Johnson now with the corner looking to get this one into the box it's headed away here they come again good defending well not the best clearance though it's Harry Forrester well, he's done well there to avoid losing the ball. Rangers still on the attack. The ball is a poor one from out wide. The attack breaks down. This is Kenny McLean, the goal scorer. Dalcio. Elcio sees the run. Oh, it's off the woodwork. So close to a stunning second goal. 
Easy for me to say. Just dinked it over the keeper that couldn't beat the frame of the goal. As half time approaches, he to Tybrooks. That's a foul. Just a talking to, I think. And you can see he's just slid in. McLean steps up to take the free kick. Oh, it's hit the wall with a smack. And that's all she wrote for the first half here. At Ibrooks, Kenny McLean's wonder strike, separating the sides. Abdul Diaby came very close to adding a second with his little chip coming back off the woodwork. Man is beating all ends up. Half time here at Ibrooks, Strangers 1, St Johnson 0. Aberdeen leading Motherwell. 1-0 at Pataudry to keep the pressure on at the top of the table. Rangers, of course, one point ahead as it stands. That's a good play. Easily held by Manis, the shot from Carlos Peña. Now Rangers had a man down there briefly, he's back on his feet now. Michelle Kramer I believe it was. Oh lovely wee ball to Kramer. Where's the finish? Should have been 2-0. The Dutchman just failing to pull a finish out of the bag. It's a chance again here. Fluffed his lines again. McCrory with the header. Tavernier gives the ball away. It's hooked away by Alston. This is James Tavernier. McLean evading the challenge there. Rangers with some nice possession play. This is Harry Forrester. Loses out. It's a touch over elaborate perhaps. Well, there's a foul there from Big McCrory. Just as well as Munoz was almost, be almost beyond him there, bearing down on goal. It's a yellow card for young Ross McCrory. Professional foul, perhaps. Well, that'll clear up some of the confusion. St. Johnson take their Alston off. Now only one remains on the field. McCrory, confirmation there of the yellow card. Free kick. Rangers chance to come forward here through Carlos Peña looking for some kind of run there from Dalcio that wasn't forthcoming St Johnson will feel they're still not out of this here it's only the one goal nice interception from Tavernier Peña again. McCrory has to be careful on that yellow card. Now it's another foul in there. Oh, what a goal that is! Well, we thought the play would be stopped there for the free kick. The referee allowed the play to continue. And what a finish from McLean. Well, McLean's have scored for both sides. 
both at the same end. Stephen McLean for Ross County and Kenny McLean for Rangers. Atakai comes on to replace the booked Dalcio. Well, Rangers will have to go for it here in the closing 20 minutes or so. McCrory has to be careful on that yellow card, as we mentioned. Nice ball over the top for Pombo. He's in here. Looking for Atakai, trying to use his pace, managed to nick in there briefly, couldn't come away with the ball. Oh, Wother spins away from his man, chance for the ball in, it's tongue behind. Well, Pombo coming off here. Rangers also making a change. Goal scorer Kenny McLean goes off for the youngster Cameron Cook, one from the Youth Academy. Bit of a gamble with Rangers currently not in front here. Nice ball out to Atakai, can he keep it in? He cannot. Time for the final change for Rangers. A wee bit of jiggery pokery here. There you go. As Lee Wallace comes on to replace Alston. Well, time running out here. Just 15 minutes remaining here at Ibrooks. So time for a late win out. Rangers left it late last week against Ross County. Let's grab that goal in the 85th minute. Need something similar here this afternoon. What on earth was that? Long ball forward, should be taken care of. This is Serge Atakai. Oh, he's giving it away again, the youngster. As St. Johnson look to mount another attack. Leighton just have to be careful. There's the goal. And with eight minutes remaining, St. Johnson take the lead here. It's a shock turn of events. Stephen McLean again. It's a top quality finish from the St. Johnson man. Beyond Fodderingham. Well, Rangers really up against it now. Nice ball forward, there's a pull of the shot there, surely. Doesn't matter. As Diaby finds a finish. Rangers right back on level terms immediately here. You see the pull of the shot just outside the box. Well, made no difference. Diaby applies the finish. Now it's going to be an exciting six minutes remaining of this game plus stoppages as these teams go all out for the victory and you would have thought St Johnson were on for the winner there scoring eight minutes from time Rangers pull an equaliser out of the hat two minutes later here's Michel Kramer trying to come forward here he's just lost out in the edge of the area It's a foul there by Atakai. St. Johnson of a man down. Is it still on the attack here? Well, the referee stops it this time. As Miyoshi is chopped to the ground by Tavernier. It's a yellow card for James Tavernier. Chance here for 
Saints flash his way to the post for Munoz. That should have been surely the winning goal for the visitors. Time running out here. It's gone out for a St. Johnson throw in front of the technical area. Opts to throw it back the way. As the clock runs down. One last attack here. Headed away. And that is the final whistle. Well, an interesting match here. Rangers have dropped points, but... Well, it looked like St. Johnson were going to take all three before Abdullahi Diaby popped up with an equaliser just six minutes from time. And Stephen McLean, well, two goals from him today. He's enjoyed his afternoon. Certainly St. Johnson had a big chance to win it right at the death, but it wasn't to be. And it ends here at Ibrox. Rangers 2, St. Johnson 2. Well, let's take a look again at the goals. It was Kenny McLean opening the scoring on 11 minutes. An incredible finish. Right in the top corner. Stephen McLean equalised. Then St. Johnson went ahead before Abdullah Diaby managed an equaliser. With just six minutes remaining. And that's how it ended. Quick look at the ratings. Well, this rotated Rangers side, as you can see, Forrester with a decent performance, 8.8. .8. Diaby with an 8.4. McLean with an 8.7. Stephen McLean, the man of the match for St. Johnson, unsurprisingly, with two goals to his name. Good performance from the Saints striker. So that's how it ends here, Rangers 2, St. Johnson 2. Thanks very much for joining us on Screwball Gaming. We'll catch you next time. Cheerio bye. Ooh, a wee draw there as well. That's a tonic.